that uh, Bert is very pleased. If need be, you can talk to his engineering staff. You can call him up in Canada, and he will be able to share this. Now, let's get to work and actually see how both these greases work. Now, today we have a, uh, a standard, what we call like a Timken bearing machine, used by many uh, oil and grease manufacturers. We have a motor that turns a shaft, we have a race, and then we have a bearing. Now, there's a lot of tricks on how to do this, but the best way is to try it for an immediate shock load test, and that's what we're going to do. Why? Remember how I shared how those bearings, how the grease would be pulled away and have it still live? Well, we're going to show what that looks like right now. Here's our Mobile One grease. Now, we don't have to over-grease in there. Enough is enough. We're just going to have a little bit. You've seen this pink grease before. Lovely, smells good, real yummy. We're putting just enough on there to coat it. Okay. Wow, look at that smoke. Ready? I'm going to say, Clayton, you didn't get enough grease on there. Okay, let's take some off here and we'll put it back on there. Here we go. Ready? Now, let's say, Clayton, but it has to float in the grease. You're not doing it right. Well, I tell you what, one of the things that we have to look at, we'll just have it float in the grease. And if it was just coming along, it'd be okay. The last time I looked, when you're shock loading at 9,000 RPMs and coming on the gas and off the gas, this is what you have. But maybe it does all right. But let's do this other thing. Now, last time I looked in dirt racing, you had a lot of mud, you had a lot of water, you had a lot of stuff. So let's pull it. Will water get in there? You betcha. Because dirt racing, is, dirt racing and horse racing is pretty close. So let's watch this. Sounds pretty good. Wait a minute. Well, Clayton, that just wasn't fair. You got to put more grease back on there. Okay, here we go. One hand. I said, holy cow, Clayton, how did that happen? Well, I'll tell you why. Chemically, it's a choice. This product here is made with what's called lithium. Now, when they create the product, when they create the product, they have to take lithium soap and they put it together to create the product that we have. And unfortunately, as soon as water hits it, it's going to self-destruct right there. Okay? That's the problem. So even if you were using the mobile and you had a little bit of water get in there, because of the lithium uh, uh, design, it's going to do that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put in a fresh new bearing so that we have a, uh, for our shock load test, here's a brand new edge. I wish I could show it to you, but that's okay. Here's a brand new edge. Yeah, let's roll that over better. Yeah, brand new edge. Ah! All right. It was kind of loose there. This is an honest test, ladies and gentlemen. You can find your own Timp and bearing machine, do it yourself. All right, here's the Burp Blue Magic, the new 2011 product. I'm just going to put a little bit on here. You see how that comes in a good, nice line? That's how it greases into the ball joints. That's a pretty good deal. Now, would you say that's covered on there? Okay. So here we go. Ready? Clayton, that ain't fair. You ought to smoosh some more grease around there. Okay, I will. 
Ready? Here we go. Now, what happens if the bearings are really dry and then you just start off? <laughs> check that out. Well, Clayton, how, how does it work with the water? Well, let, let's check that out here. Okay. Now, I don't know. That mobile one's a pretty good deal. Let's see what happens here. That's full of water. You can see the water leaking out. Now, I think that mobile went in about 10 seconds, didn't it? Oh, come on, Clayton, that can't be real. All right, let's take it out. Yeah, this is real water. We had it before. Why? Because it's a calcium sulfonate complex. Let's just try to, to get some of that grease off there, how it works. It's just, maybe it's too much grease. Well, Clayton, that's got to be some kind of trick on there. I bet that's really wore down, isn't it? Well, I'll tell you what. If you were to look at this bearing right now, if you were to see this bearing right now, it's only wore maybe uh, eighth of an inch, where the other one's like half the bearing. So anyway, that's about it. The bottom line is this. Bert came with their engineering staff to say, could you make us a grease that works for 9,000 RPMs and 900 horsepower? And, well, I think we did it. So that is the difference between grease technologies. So this is Clayton Balmas with Synmax University and Burp Blue Magic Products with uh, Synmax Performance Lubricants. We want to thank you, and I'll see you at our next session. Bye now.